In this video, we are going to look at partial scalar invariance at the item level. In the last video, we discovered that all three of our factors were causing problems when constraining their intercepts to be equal across groups. So we are not able to claim scalar invariance. If we did determine that it was a single factor that was causing the problem, we could now go explore each item of that factor to discover whether it was a single item causing the problem. So let's pretend that participation was the problem and the only problem. We could now go explore part one, part two, part three, and part four to see if it's the intercepts on those individual items that are causing the problem. The unconstrained model will still have a chi-square and degrees of freedom as recorded previously, 233 and 102. But now, with only one intercept constrained instead of the entire factor, we'll see some changes. Let me save this and run it. Go to model fit, chi-square, 243, 415, and 103. So we'll paste this in the second model. 103 is the degrees of freedom. And we can see that these are different. By constraining only the intercept for part one, we have substantially worsened model fit. So let's try part two. Save and run. Model fit, chi square, 251. Now, because this is bigger than 243, which was what we had last time, I can already tell you it's worse, because any larger chi-square is going to result in a lower p-value here, assuming constant degrees of freedom. So, 251 is worse. Well, let's try part 3. Save and run. Model fit. Chi-square. 243, 687. Still no good. Let's try part four. And 263, even worse. In fact, 263, that's about the worst we've seen. So what have we learned from this? We've learned that indeed the participation latent factor is causing problem with our scalar invariance. And we've learned that it's not an individual item within that factor but it's all four items. So we can not claim even partial scalar invariance due to the participation latent factor. Now, we could do the same for customer rejection and feedback, the CR and F latent factors, but there is no need as we've already determined that we can't claim partial scalar invariance.